Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Today we're going to do another tutorial on a circular build technique. Um, we're going to go even crazier today. Uh, we're going to try to build a 24-sided uh, building with a 48-sided balcony around it. And um, it's take it to another level here. This uh, this was the eight, to, or basically the eight-sided building was the the 16 posts in here around the center beam. And this one here is a, um, a 24 posts around the center beam. And then now we're going to do a 48 all the way around and show you how to do that one. So the center one is done with standing on top of a, a single beam. Uh, the one out here is done standing on two beams. And the next one we're going to do is standing on three beams. And you say, geez, Pete, you know, really? And I'm going to say yes, just for the fun of it. I'll show you how to do this. Uh, you do need to either build ramps to get up to on top of this uh, beam a little bit. Oh, that's pretty close right there. So once you set that height relative to this floor, then it should it should stay. I know I can do it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to center ourselves on this guy um, and get ready to place a beam, free place a beam. Uh, so the beams are going to get out to about there, right? And if you see here, I'm just about centered, looking south, looking east, maybe not quite. You know, looks like I maybe need to go a little bit there and that way. It's a little less accurate when you're up here at this distance, but um, that's kind of where I'm going to go. So I'm going to start building these things out. So build one, we hit the home key, we look up at the HUD, at the compass HUD up above there, and we're going one tick over, kind of in line with the uh, 24 beams that I got down below there. So I'm going to go over there. So I'm basically going to just do every tick, build this out. And I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me do all of this, we'll come back. But one thing I wanted to mention is we are also going to, once we've got our, our 24 beams embedded in all the way, what we're going to do then is we're going to hit the home key again, and we're going to stick one right in the middle of these two. And as you can see, I can, just as I'm moving my mouse around, I'm either sitting on top of this beam here or once I get to that little crack there all of a sudden boom I'm right in the middle of the um, those two beams so I can go here falls down you can see him in, in that one spot there so we're gonna also place an extra beam in between each one of these um, so sitting like that so so let's meet back here after I've um, done all of these Alrighty, welcome back. Um, so there's our three high center beam. This is our 48 vertical beams that we placed all the way around, nice and smooth. You can see that's done. Um, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do offsets. So um, we are gonna go and start our beam and we're gonna go to the right. So we're gonna, now this is where the fun part starts because it's kind of, there's a lot of beams kind of overlapping here, right? So, but you can start, it seems to be you can grab them, seem, you know, pretty good okay, right? So you just kind of point towards the center of this outside beam here and you can see it lays out like so. And so we're gonna do this for every beam um, all the way around our, and again, be back here when this is done. All right, so I got most of these done just getting up near the end here and I'm just going to show you that this gets a little bit tough to, to put these in so it's okay if you leave the last few um, and then we can we can address those you know once we've done the other the other circles here so we're gonna just go as far as we can yeah so what we want to do is whilst we're pointing at this top beam here we want to sink it down to the height of the beams just below it. So in this case here, we're gonna go up to about right there. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's pretty bang on. Yep, okay, so I'm just gonna delete this. 
this one. the right height now right by looking at the top of this guy so you can't see your beam here when we're sinking this in but you can see the edge of it and we want to be sticking out slightly anyways just a little bit so get yourself centered on this seam here and to the point where you're just sticking out a little bit like so and then we'll delete that beam do the same thing this one basically we're going to do the same for all of them Just so when you run your cursor along that line, it sticks out just a little bit. Not quite centered. That. that one. Rinse and repeat. Again, you want to be as perpendicular to this line as possible. Might have to move forward and backward a little bit just to get it right. And just so it's sticking out. Just a bit off there. Yeah, like that. And then delete. Alright, so I'm going to do all of these around here and we'll come back here and we'll meet back and probably have a sleep too because it looks like it's the end of the day here. So, so meet me back here in the morning. Alright, we're back. We've got our 48 beams offset um, on vertically. Uh, sunk into the ground all the way around. Uh, now we don't need our original 48 vertical uh, beam circle anymore on the inside. We can get rid of that so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go through and uh, just delete all of these and meet back here again once I have All right, so we've deleted those inner uh, beams. We don't need those anymore. And you, you also, at this point, want to be very careful because there's no way for you to recreate these uh, without those inner beams. So my suggestion when doing these kinds of builds is to save your prospects often. Go into your, uh, into your account location, um, and uh, I'll show you where to do that. If you see on the screen here, this is kind of where you where the prospects are um, stored on your on your hard drive typically if you're standard C drive installation and you're using Steam um, you want to back that up and just uh, just kind of put it in a directory and name it saying the start of the circle or whatever whatever you want to um, and you can always pull that back in again afterwards if let's say you've made a mistake and you want to start back from this this point right and I do that with a lot of my builds so all right, so we probably don't need these inner, inner circles either, but I'm going to leave them because they may come in handy later for some creative roofing or whatever the story is. And of course, these ones we need to extend out, so we don't need three high to do that. But we can just stand on one of them, so I'm just going to do that. We're going to jump on top of this guy here, and we are going to extend our beams out. Start pointing south, I guess. I don't know. We, it doesn't matter where we start, really. We're going to do three out um, for every... Actually, four out for every one of these. Because that's... We're going to build the railing first, right? The balcony, should we say. So, let me get through this and meet back here in a moment all right um, just kind of interrupting putting all these beams out because kind of a thought occurred to me I just you know it starts to get pretty beam intensive as it were so you're probably better doing this in quarters um, I made a mistake here get rid of this one this is what it's gonna look like and so what we want to do is we want to put a, um, a floor plate in actually first thing we want to do is put a floor plate in to the right because we extended out our offsets to the if you're kind of standing back here and looking at it this way we did our offsets going left so we want to do our floor plates going right on the right side of each one of these beams right 
So we're gonna go there. And don't get shocked if these don't, they don't seem to be meshing up at all. Because all we're gonna be putting on the outside of this is um, railings. And so they're gonna overlap on the very, on the fourth beam out. So um, what we do need to do though, is we do need to put supports in here first. So let's do that right now. We'll do uh, our supports. And I'm gonna do diagonal. Start kind of like this. I'm going to do this one, and then that one, and uh, if you're good you can jump across, but I always find it's better to do floor plate here first, and then switch back to the beam again, and do a floor plate. This time you're going. There's going to be quite an overlap here. Like that. And a floor plate, or then a beam. And a floor plate. This one. And a beam over here. And continue on like so, right? There's another one. So I'll meet back here once I've kind of done a few of these. Alright, so we got this section done. Uh, we have our supports. Um, and we have a uh, a floor plate to the right of each of the, um, the beams that we've extended here. Um, and so now what we can do is we can delete all of the... Um, beams going towards the center here because we got supports already in down below here so um, so we're gonna do this kind of rinse and repeat for each for each one of these so that at the end of this when we meet back here I should have a single floor plate going all like a floor plate going all the way around a ring and with all the beams supported at the bottom with the middle beams all deleted and um, I'll meet you back here once I've got that done so just kind of uh, give you a few tips on if you're doing something like this where you've got to extend out. Well, it's maybe a bit easier to see if I was moving out. And See, I came around here and all was fine. Um, although that one probably needs uh, another solid beam in there. But once I got to this part here, it was starting to get a little difficult because um, I have to angle up to support the uh, ends of those beams. So I'm just going to show you a little tip about how I do that. So in this case here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start with a vertical beam off of um, off of this extended beam, and I need to be down by two. You can see that's already breaking. Um, so I got to be quick about it when I place these next beams in. So I'm going to go uh, one there, and then one there, and one there. So now you can see that they're solid, right? So. Uh, the reason I do that is because it's easier now to attach an angled beam because you always got to start from the bottom and I can add that angled beam in there and then extend it up to the uh, the end of those beams. So that's just another tip to show you the same thing on the other ones. Um, I'm going to add a little floor plate here as I go so that I can walking out here. I'm going to add that vertical on the end. One, two, three. And then like that. That'll sink in. And then we can put her just a way of handling some of those ones that are kind of difficult to get to. So here's another thing you might um, find yourself running into <coughs> is um, you'll, you'll go along here and you'll delete these center beams going out, horizontal be beams going out to these uh, edges and then all of a sudden you'll start seeing cracks like this. Uh, and that what that means is basically you're not supported enough in this particular beam. So in this this floor right here is connected to this beam 
and it's cracking. Um, so that means that this guy here is not embedded solidly into the ground here somewhere, right? So we need to figure that out. And sometimes the way to fix that is to drop a vertical beam in uh, just underneath it. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, so the cracks are gone now, right? I get rid of this one because there's support underneath there, right? All right, same thing with this one. We got some cracks here. Uh, that'll be this guy right here that's not supported properly. So we'll put a vertical beam in there to sink down into the rock. Let's have a look. Yeah, so the cracks are gone. So, so that's just something to watch out for as you go along. I'm almost done here, um, and we'll meet back. Okay, we're back. So uh, <clears throat> this is what we end up with is um, a nice round, big round circle. This is our balcony, which we're standing on right now. So our wall is going to go to the right of my character here and the railing to the left. Uh, now's about a good time to go down and double check to see everything's firmly embedded. There's one missing here. Um, there's some extra uh, scaffolding stuck into the into the walls here that we're going to delete. And then the other thing, if you're anything like me, and you want to stay kind of true to uh, detail, you'll notice you do have orientation in the way that these floor plates are situated, and that's a mess right there. Um, in one way, we're going out, we're extending radially, and the other way, we're going in a circular pattern. So I would, because I'm picky, go around and I would uh, fix those. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that and meet you back here and fix all those other things on the other side. And then we're going to carry on. All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, we fixed up all of our little problems, and we have a nice pattern that goes all the way around with the steel beams pointing outwards. Um, see it better over here. So they're all like this now, which is great. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build the inner walls here, and or inner floor, should I say. So we're going to go be mindful again of the um, where the railings are going and you know, we're also going to build uh, again to if you're looking at these beams here we're building to the right of each of these beams right um, so in this case here it's going to be if I'm looking at this beam right here it's going to be right there not there because that's to the well, actually that one's okay too because it's to the right of that beam there so um, and actually we're probably gonna have to do that all the way around so let's go like this and make sure that each one of our beams are pointed in the right direction kind of like that so we're skipping every second one right as we're going along see and I'm not putting it here right there not there but there and in some cases we may end up with a little bit of a hole that's okay I can live with that this is not super 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 accurate always going to be some instances of a little bit of gaps here and there but actually put our walls now along this seam all the way along here so in my case I'm going to use the um, clay brick and I do need a door over here somewhere at some point so I'm gonna make a door here and the rest of them are going to be windows and I, actually I may want another door on this side I've got lots of room so let's do that just knock this out Put a door in, like so. There you go. So that's, uh, and then the other thing we'll do, we can put the railing around on the outside, um, which I have already preset up here. Now these railings are going to be overlapping quite a bit, so, but they'll be overlapping consistent from railing to railing, right? Um, because if you look, 
it's going to be the same sort of overlap for each railing as opposed to the other kind of build that I did before where you can have different gaps at the railing side of things but this one so I'm going to go around and put all these railings on and I'll uh, meet back here in a moment all right so I was putting my railings up along here and everything was looking good and then I came across this spot here where the the next railing will go up but this railing will not for some reason for the life of me go up and that happens every now and then when you got overlaps so the way to fix that is just take it back a notch and um, you can go in and you can delete um, sort of the overlapping floor here that that actually is causing the issue so now what we can do is we can put the railing here and the railing there then put this floor back in which is this guy right here and hopefully I got the right direction so, and then go and put the railing up and it should work not wanting to play ball either. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so so that, that could happen where you get an overlap and you have to just delete back a section. Um, the resolution that delete the floor, um, put the railing in that didn't want to go in, and then put the floor back in and then put the railing, the next railing on. So. All right, welcome back. Um, so this is our building so far. We got our railing up, and I did two wall heights all the way around. This is going to give us, geez, a ton of room inside this building, which is great. Um, we're going to figure out now how to put the roof on, and uh, yeah, see what see what happens here. So, all right. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that the wood the wood underneath the floors is pointing towards the center like that okay so if we do like three of them for now let's see how far out I can go before stuff starts collapsing there we go on to the third one and you can see we're gonna need some support there right? so the way to fix that is um, let's just fix that for a second We're going to need supports at that location, right? So let's figure out which one we need here. Um, put a horizontal beam. We still have our, our main supports here that we've got here, so we can extend this out. Uh, it's going to be that one, I think. Yep. So I'm going to go one out, and then we're going to build up support that guy right in the corner now if you look at the other the other ones out here uh, and let's say we put a floor plate here one two we can easy, easily go two we don't need another support here we don't need to actually put every support on on here we only need probably for this corner right here and that I believe is three spa three spaces and then another support. So let's go and put so there's this one and there's one, two, three, and then that is where we want to be, I think. So let's put that in like that. Up and yeah, that's the guy there. So now if I go and drop in another ceiling. good right nothing cracking so that's what we're gonna have to do in order to support this entire big span all the way around and so we're gonna have a bunch of beams in the middle of our, our building uh, but they're spaced out so it's not too bad right um, they're sunk into the ground so we're good to delete these guys so we'll go around and we'll put in all of these beams and then I'm gonna do the entire roof section as well 
Um, I don't think you need to follow along for that. You get the, the idea. Um, and we'll go from there. I'll meet back here once I've got the entire roof finished. All right, welcome back. So this is um, what we have so far, um, where we did every fourth beam came out and provided some inner supports. It's not so bad. We can work our way around this. Uh, you can do something kind of interesting on the inside of the building with this. Um, but we got to close that up. And the other thing you could do, you don't necessarily have to uh, put the support here. You could actually extend out the associated um, support beam on this side here. Like I think this beam right here this one for this guy um, you could put this beam like so and uh, then get rid of this one right I think that would work so, so you could do you know some varying you know every second one you could have move it a little bit closer to the it's associated one over here right um, it's totally up to you how you want to do that. I think I kind of like the idea of um, them all being sort of in the middle. So I'm going to put that one back at the moment. And let's do that. Um, we do need to get up on the roof. Now we're going to close this in. Um, you could do some all you know all sorts of different variations from here but you always got to be cognitive of where the supports are right um even even when we're closing this gap up so if you look at it let's go back down for a sec let's just extend one of these support beams up because i want to see where that is exactly so i think there's a um, out here now okay so there's there's my one support um, we want to start with that guy closing in right so let's uh, go to our floor plate and line ourselves up here so that that's with that guy there right so from below right um, there that's the one we want because it's it's associated with that support right there right so I'm gonna go there and that support there like that support from this side. I'm gonna go like that. There we go. So that closes up our our ceiling with a nice pattern and least amount of floor plates. Alright. So I think it's probably safe to close in this part here. Um, sometimes in some of my bases what I like to do is um, is put a, a set of stairs down so that I can get down underneath here. Because when you're doing wiring and stuff like that, you want to be able to access things down here. And, uh, you know, especially, you know, down here under the low part. All right, we finished up the floor and uh, it's looking good on the inside. And uh, I put a roof line in on the outside. Uh, plus, I also extended a little tower up, um, which sits on the existing support set where we saw there. Um, so this is what you're left with. So I hope uh, you guys found this tutorial useful, and um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you later.